Hello guys, so today let's have a look at my top 5 Twitter applications for Linux. And of course, you can install the, uh, these applications from uh, Ubuntu Software Center. So first off, let's have a look at this Twidix. Click on that, and it shows up here in the corner. If I right click, it says new message or show Twidix. And here, you can't really post any tweets just zoom in a bit you can't really post any tweets you can just read from uh, the people you are following so that's quite boring actually I only use this um, because it's easy and fast so uh, this is the first one uh, nothing really exciting to show so let's close this and quit the next one is called G Twitter. Let's open that. And it says connecting. So let's wait a few. Okay. Right here I can see uh, a, uh, a few people I'm following. So if I, t if I click on Chris Perillo, his tweet will be up here. And if I click on Planet Ubuntu, the tweet will be up here as well, and I can type here what I'm doing or my tweet, if you want to say that. So um, let me see if I right click on this and press preferences, we'll get this box um, source on startup, read information from friends timeline or public timeline okay uh, we'll of course need to type in our username and password uh, if you don't have a twitter account you can always sign up by pressing on this uh, we can refresh it uh, every minute every three minutes five ten thirty or never so i'll have it on every minute okay so um, this is Twitter. No, G Twitter. Sorry, G Twitter, um, an application I use as well. Okay, let's quit this. And the next one is called Twitter. Just Twitter. So it's starting. And right here we only get the Twitter homepage. So um, this is only just so you don't have to open up a browser so you just sign in right here let me see okay I don't know but then um, here we got the page so uh, very easy so you don't have to open your web browser and go to Twitter Let's go to preferences we love only see uh, we can change some fonts and some colors and we can uh, go to some network options okay so that's cool let me zoom out and that is that application next one is called q wit i think it's quit uh, so let's open that one and right here it gives me some uh, messages up here. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, right here, I can see my tweets and I can write a tweet as well. I can go to public, replies, uh, favorites, inbox, and outbox. So if I want to go to search, I can search right here. If I want to go to Outbox, I just press more and it will take a few minutes to update. <clears throat> okay, so let's go to Friends here. Let's wait a second so it can update. And this is my Friends here. We got my followers right here and blocks here. <clears throat> Sorry, let's go to um, Options. Right here, we can uh, add a new Twitter account 
or edit the one we already have. Let's go to this URL short now. Um, I use this bit one. Uh, by default, it comes with this U. I don't know what it is, but uh, you know URL shortener. If you type in YouTube.com, it shortens it. Okay, so that's cool as well. Uh, a very cool uh, application for Twitter. I use this very much. Okay, let's close this and quit up here. The next one is actually called Gwibber and that's uh, installed in Ubuntu 10.04 by default. Let's open that. Don't know if I... yeah. Right here. It's an awesome application. It's called Gwibber. Um, here we go home to the main site. We can read our replies. Right here. And we can search here. Of course, we can tweet down here. So, and that is cool. Let me see if I just. No, I can't do that. No. Okay, but um, when you haven't typed uh, any Twitter uh, user account in, you'll get a window. Well, just have to choose Twitter and type in your account name, so that's cool. Um, so yeah, this is the top five Twitter application uh, for me. The easy one, a little bit better one, a good one, a better one, and the best. I, I use um, TweetDeck as well, but. Um, since it's, it's not uh, anything about Linux, I choose not to review it uh, in this video. But you can download that by searching Tweet Deck on Google, and there you go. So, uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. See you in my next video. Bye.